This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Stay tuned till the end for exclusive deals and finding out how you can build your own website easily with squarespace.com slash jethrotex. When a new Pokemon game comes out, the first thing many of us do is look back at all the Pokemon designs and wonder how they will look in a new art style. Many questions can be brought up when looking back at those finally decided on Pokemon designs that were officially released. What inspired this Pokemon? Did it look differently along the way? Is that a Digimon? Are they even trying anymore? Well, I can answer about zero of those questions, but today we've looked into 10 of the Pokemon in their beta stages that had a completely different look before being released. These are 10 leaked beta sprites that show some of your favorite Pokemon in a different light as Pokemon go through many stages of development. We did make a video like this before, and as many new unused Pokemon have come up since then, including ones that were scrapped, let me know if you'd like to see more of that by exploding that like button and letting me know in the comments which other beta Pokemon you'd like to see as we're only picking 10 here. For now, we'll have a fun time looking at Pokemon that are in the games, but were envisioned differently during development. Let's find out who had the most drastic change or even had some interesting designs that weren't used but could have still been an amazing official design as they rival their final look. Welcome to the 10 leaked, rejected, unused, never seen but sometimes seen if you saw it but not in the games, probably on Google, beta Pokemon that we likely will never see used in the games because they're already in the games, just rendered differently. Number 10, Noctowl. Noctel has been known as an iconic starting route bird Pokemon of the second generation. It was the first starting bird to avoid having three stages, and stayed at Humble 2, letting you all know that even at the beginning of an adventure, someone is going against the trends. Noctel actually had a more basic look than its nicely shaped self, as it looked like this. It's a pretty sleek design, not gonna lie. I could have definitely seen this as a middle stage evolution that transforms into the final stage of Noctel, if the final stage of Noctel was twice its size, but it's nice to see the process of how they create a Pokemon and how this beta Noctowl is close to the look of Hoot Hoot. It gives you that look of the process, as it's like an artist's sketch before they add those final details. It also sort of looks like an egg, but a nice egg, probably has a double yolk. Number 9, Mime Jr. One of the Pokemon that was drastically changed beyond being able to notice who it is, is Mime Jr.'s beta sprite. Now the fact that you know this is Mime Jr. is what lets you know that it's Mime Jr. because really, this is a very big change. The hat gives it away, but if I took off its hat and closed my eyes, I might think it's the egg in Chansey's pouch. That could be Hapini's beta sprite. Not sure what's with all these beta Pokemon looking like eggs, but Mime Jr.'s beta sprite does give it a different, way different look. Its hat doesn't have the pearl at the top, its body no longer fits the trapezoid hole you have to put in the circle hole. Its beta actually had more apparent feet than the final Mime Jr. as those look like... I don't know what that really looks like, it just looks like it has really long pants. Overall, a very different but cool look into the creation of Mime Jr. and a pretty good beta sprite as it's relatively cute in its own way. Here it is on some skis. Number 8, Rampardos. The Diamond and Pearl Beta Sprite Leagues brought in a new look to a Pokemon, some of which I decided should go on this list. Rampardos being one that had to be here, as although it might still be quite similar to the finished Rampardos, the look of its original Beta Sprite feels so complete that it could have just been thrown into the game. It actually looks tougher than the final Rampardos, and Rampardos already looks tough. This almost has a split evolution type of feeling, or a form change feeling, when Rampardos wants to get down and dirty and splash around in some mud. Hey, no, we were just going for a walk, get out of the mud, or I'm giving you a bath and you're a rock type. I'm not sure what made them switch to the blue, as the beta sprite really resonates with being a fossil Pokemon. However, it's hard for me to pick between these two, as this beta sprite just looks so good, and I already love Rampardos. Number 7, Blissey. While Blissey isn't a Pokemon that was made in Generation 4, it's a Pokemon that's well known in Generation 4, as in a battle, it'll be on the screen for a long time. A long, long time. It actually had its own beta sprite that looks significantly different, and in all honesty, I wish it was in the game. Just look at this. Imagine Chansey evolving into this form of Blissey. Two eggs, one on the left, one on the right, you get into an old classic western standoff, who do you think is gonna win? 
The Blissey with the egg in the middle and two hands on the sides, or the Blissey with two eggs on each side beside its two hands. It also has a heart on its head, which, well, might have upped the rating of Pokemon from E for Everyone to, like, T, if you looked at it too quickly or from behind. Blissey as it is really can't be replaced, but this beta Blissey with the caps in both pockets throwing eggs at people's houses during drive-bys would have really changed how loving this Pokemon comes off. Number 6. Bayleaf Now I don't want to shock you, so let's take things slow. This is original Bayleaf. Take a good look, we're all calm, we're doing well so far- This is Beta Bayleaf! This is one of the most drastic changes between a Pokemon. Yeah, Beta Mime Jr. is somewhat able to be mistaken for another Pokemon, but this... This could be some missing middle stage of Sunflora. Maybe Politoed wasn't going to be added to the Poliwag line. This could be its pre-evolution. Skiploom? Maybe this was the Beta skipped over for that evolution line. After how loving Ash's Bayleaf is in the anime, it would be very hard to replace it or get hugs from a Pokemon that's shaped like this. However, this is a pretty unique take on what Chikorita would evolve into. How would it move? Would it drag along the ground like a Diglett? Would it just stay in a pot? It's interesting, don't get me wrong, and could be used for a completely different concept as it's a very interesting design for a Pokemon. But seeing as how classic Bayleaf is, and even the thought of changing any starter Pokemon would set off a ride in a public space somewhere, it would definitely have to be used for something else. Which honestly, Flabebe does look a little inspired by it. Number 5. Scizor Scizor is one of the most popular and loved Pokemon in all of Pokemon. But imagine this sleek red design looking like this. This is still really good. Some beta sprites can really give you that feeling of a completed Pokemon, even though it wasn't used, or the completed Pokemon. But just seeing the beta Sizzler having more of a focus on original Scyther's design, with the tougher, in-your-face attitude that's much different than the final Sizzler, is just an interesting look at a change in personality. If I was at a bar and I saw the red Sizzler, I would think, man, that guy is sleek, looks chill, polished up, I'm sure that Sizzler guy isn't gonna try and talk me into joining a cult. But then you see the green beta scissor and you stay at least six seats away because it looks like that scissor just came back from its highly stressful job of being in mall security, is already on its 14th drink, and if you look in its direction, you might not be able to look at anything ever again. If sleek is the word for red, macho is the word for green scissor. I still love this bulkier, tough, original yet tuned up scyther head. It feels very mutant in a cool way, and an even tougher way than scissor. I'm not sure if this exact beta sprite would also be a bug steel type, as it might have just been a continuation of the Scyther's bug flying type and evolved in a different way than holding a metal coat. But its angrier demeanor and even more confused, almost in pain hand claws make this one of the lost gems in the beta sprites of Pokemon's final designs. Number 4 The Legendary Beast. The three legendary betas come out kicking in a really nice, very different look. In the beta versions of these Pokemon, they look a lot more calm, like a household pet that's not illegal to keep in a one-bedroom apartment. I had the final forms of Raikou, Suicune, and Entei that look more like lions and tigers, and when I kept all those animals in my house, someone called Animal Control, even though I was doing a pretty good job of controlling them all myself. They didn't attack that many of my neighbors, don't know why I had to give them up. Nevertheless, these beta designs for the legendary beasts look cuter and more apartment management friendly. Suicune still has its graceful, calming look, Entei looks more like a show-off, look at me, I'm a spectacle, and Raikou, well, Raikou definitely looks like it's ready to pounce. It has also been speculated that these might have been the beta sprites for Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, as both of these trios are the same types, and they do feel more dog-like. Which I can see, as this definitely could have been a look for that trio evolving from Eevee. But it has been confirmed that these are the Legendary Beast beta sprites that make them have a more pedestrian look than the royalty Rolls Royce looking beasts we know them as in their final forms. These betas are just so cool though, look at those awesome color schemes. Number 3. Kingdra This may actually be one of my favorite beta sprites as this is a Pokemon that looks completed. In a way I thought Kingdra's beta sprite could have been another split evolution. One has a more feminine charm, and the other has a more masculine charm. This is where you could get the Kingdra vs Queendra choice between the two. I do think it might take a bit of that special feeling away from Kingdra's final form if it was a split evolution. Seeing Seedra evolve into an exclusive only one choice for a majestic dragon does give it that completed feeling on its own. 
but seeing that they had a very different Pokemon design that looks so nice still makes you feel like it was a missed opportunity. It looks even tougher in this form, the spikes of its full head hair shooting upwards, it's an extremely nice look that doesn't overshadow our finalized Kingdra, but allows you to see two different amazing versions. Number 2, Garchomp. One of the most loved Generation 4 signature Pokemon had quite a different look while it was in its development stages. From missile head fierce jet plane looking dragon to thin submarine looking dinosaur, Garchomp has had quite the evolution from one look to another. It's actually another great look from base to completion as you see the style they were going for in its beta and then adding some perks and different colorations to make it one of the most loved dragon types. I will say its beta version looks more like the ground type, it could even look more like a water dragon type here as it has that salmon look going on. I mean just about every dragon looks more water dragon than Palkia so this fits. And beta Garchomp and finalized Palkia both have the same head shape. But that's not everything that went with the Garchomp beta. There was also beta Gabite and beta Gibble. The blow up from beta Gabite to final Gabite has to be the biggest and best change. I again don't think the beta form of this Pokemon is bad, if this was a more dinosaur final evolution on 4 feet kind of Pokemon, but the Gabite we all know and love is just one of the best middle stage Pokemon when you don't know what it will evolve into yet, as it really sets up the look for the fierceness it may be taking on when it evolves, and it does. The beta Gibble however is cute, like really cute. Gibble is already cute with its baby-like must bite everything look, it's up front and curious and always runs forward never back type of personality, but the beta Gibble is just this cute little ball of fluff and it's a different type of cute. It also looks like Sunamon if Sunamon had a body, but you get the gist of the designs I'm comparing here. Overall this is a great line and the betas don't look bad at all and we're a nice starting Pokemon. But it is definitely hard to ever see these beta versions finalized into the games when Garchomp is loved so much for its looks, personality, and in all honesty the added spikes and chiseled up look compared to its beta does drive it leagues ahead. Number 1. Arceus The beta Arceus sprite is one of the most infamous and eerie looking sprites of all. While this does look about as rough of a draft as a rough draft could get, it does allude to an even more mysterious Pokemon that would really represent a unique and much different story in Pokemon. Arceus is already the god of Pokemon, but seeing it in its misty-like form, unable to truly tell what it is, is such an amazing idea for a plot. It's similar to how you couldn't see the ghost Pokemon in the Lavender Tower without the Sylph Scope, except many levels beyond that. Its foggy incomplete self in this form also has that feeling of completion, but represents a Pokemon that has such a deep story behind it that we can't truly grasp or know exactly what it looks like or even what it really is in this design. And that's why this beta concept of Arceus just works so well. I mean if Arceus is getting its own game describing all of its tales, it must have even more going on seeing as it is the creator of the Pokemon universe. I just think this is such an interesting design as the eerie almost nothing look it has where you can barely tell what it is really creates the aura of what Arceus is about. Imagine as the Pokemon you throw a ball at but it goes right through it because it's too powerful to be caught. This also represents a look of shape shifting and as Arceus changes into every type it could become so many different dust like forms for each type. Arceus is great, albeit it is a llama stuck in a fence, but a great llama, it's just amazing seeing it in an even more godlike form. The minimalistic nothingness that is shown from this indescribable Pokemon look is one that you can't piece together in a description. One that you can't compare to a species or physical subject gives it a completely new story just from this look without words. It's an interesting beta sprite that started off the god of all Pokemon and becoming this unknowing humble looking Pokemon that doesn't need to present how powerful it is in just its looks, but in its presence. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is a site that lets you create your own site. With their amazing features and layouts, you can make your own website with ease. Browse through the custom templates to find what fits your needs. There's categories like entertainment and media podcasts that you might like as that's pretty much my videos in a nutshell. There are many more categories as well that'll help you find what fits your needs when creating your own website. I've been thinking about making my own designer merch that can compete with designer brands like Givenchy, Gucci, and everyone's favorite upper class store, The Gap. Thanks to Squarespace I can look through the fashion section or the art and design category to see what fits my needs for an online store. 
Your Squarespace site comes equipped with a traffic overview that'll show you how many visits, unique visitors, and page views you get over time. And it'll allow you to understand what's doing well. Connect your social media accounts to your site as well, so you can help promote your website to your favorite social media channels. Make sure you head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your own website, go to squarespace.com slash jethrotex to get an additional 10% off your first purchase of your website or domain. Make it your own with Squarespace.